What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh Newland, and this is the third episode of my off-season series. In this one, I'll be showing you a full training session with my brother and sharing what my academic goals are with you. All right, so the session that you'll see was from Saturday. I went with my little brother. He's a senior in high school. Kept it fairly simple, did a warm up, um, drill working on your touch, did some 1v1s in this tight space, and then we did another sort of passing reaction drill and just hit some long balls to each other. And after the session, I'm going to share with you what my academic goals are. I'll be answering a question um, that I picked from the last episode. So, comment your best question for me, whatever you want to know, whether it's about soccer, college, fitness, personal, whatever it is, leave it in the comments. I'll choose my favorite one and answer it in the next episode. So be sure to comment that while you're watching and stay tuned until the end to hear my answer of what my academic goals are. But with that said, let's jump into the training session.
Alright guys, so just wanted to explain this drill really quick. Basically, the person passing will say a color, in this case either yellow or red, and they'll start sprinting straight at you. If you're receiving the ball, you take a touch around the cone, and then play it to the, the correct color. Yellow is the farthest to the right, and red is the farthest to the left in this case. And this is just to get you used to taking on pressure, works on your touch, your passing, a bit of reaction, and then also just getting used to someone running at you, pressuring you. So a good drill for defenders when you want to get used to having that pressure on you and you can still play it out of the back and have good touches and passes. And also something important about this drill, if they're pressuring you and they're pretty much already there, you know they're going to block your pass. You know, it's okay to take another touch you know, around them or turn with the ball and shield the ball because just like in a game, sometimes your best option is to turn around and play it back find a different option. So just like all your training for football or soccer, it shouldn't be robotic, it shouldn't be all programmed, there should be a bit of instinct involved. I'll let the rest play out now and I won't edit in any music so you can hear the colors that we're saying. And so for all you guys that like um, the training without the music edited in, here's your segment. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys again at the end.
All right, so that was fairly simple, fairly normal um, partner training session I did there. As far as what my academic goals are, um, really in general, but also specifically next semester, I want to get all A's, not really taking too hard of classes. You know, maybe economics will be the hardest one, but it seems like all of them are just going to be, you know, you just have to get your work done, get it done on time, do well on the tests, you can get an A. So that's my main goal. And then also kind of more vague, but very important, is I don't want to procrastinate. I know that's really general, and I'll probably make more specific goals to make sure I don't procrastinate. But I really want to get stuff done on time and ahead of time, because during the season, I can't be doing things last minute. I can't lose sleep over assignments. And guys, like I said at the beginning, comment whatever question you want me to answer down in the comments below. I'll pick my favorite one and answer in the next video. And if I don't pick yours, I'll be sure to just reply and answer it in the comments so you get an answer to your question. But thank you guys for doing that. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. I put out two videos every week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thank you for your support. By the time I upload this, hopefully we'll be at 900 subscribers. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you on Saturday.